Abraham Lincoln, another monumental figure in American history. According to your history teacher, Lincoln was a savior for the black community, a selfless man who gave his life fighting to abolish slavery. Lincoln emerges as a benevolent hero. The Civil War is often used to silence black voices and ignore the effects of our history. People say there was an entire war fought to free the slaves. People died to set your ancestors free. What we should be asking is why did it take America centuries to wake up to the evils of slavery and why were Americans still willing to die to preserve it? The Confederate States of America were formed after Lincoln became president in fear that he would bring slavery to an end. But the truth is, Lincoln was not an abolitionist. Abolitionists believed that slavery should be ended immediately. While Lincoln viewed slavery as a moral wrong, he did not seek to bring it to an end. During the peak of the Civil War, in his own words, Lincoln wrote, if I could save the Union without freeing any slave, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing all the slaves, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing some and leaving others alone, I would also do that. In other words, although Lincoln thought slavery was morally wrong, his primary goal was keeping the United States together, regardless of whether slavery was abolished or not. The Emancipation Proclamation is commonly believed to have abolished slavery. This is not true. Many who believe so most likely have never actually read the document itself. The Emancipation Proclamation was a military measure taken by President Lincoln to destabilize the South and rally escaped slaves to fight for the Union. Lincoln writes, I further declare and make known that such persons of suitable condition will be received into the armed service of the United States to garrison forts, positions, stations, and other places and to man vessels of all sorts in said service. The proclamation only applied to states that were in rebellion. This was an attempt to destabilize the South from within. This doesn't mean that the Emancipation Proclamation was not an important document or that it did not help lead to full abolition. Lincoln's participation in the eventual abolition of slavery and his tragic assassination at the end of the Civil War propelled him into sainthood. But how did a man known as the Great Emancipator really feel about black people? These are words from his own mouth. I am not, nor ever have been, in favor of bringing about in any way the social and political equality of white and black races. I am not, nor ever have been, in favor of making voters or jurors of Negroes, nor of qualifying them to hold office, nor to intermarry with white people. And I will say in addition to this that there is a physical difference between the white and black races which I believe will forever forbid the two races living together on terms of social and political equality. While they do remain together, there must be the position of superior and inferior. And I, as much as any other man, am in favor of having the superior position assigned to the white race. I do not understand the belief that because I do not want a Negro woman for a slave that I must necessarily want her for a wife. Those aren't the quotes you'll see etched in stone around the Lincoln Memorial. Lincoln believed that free slaves should be sent to either Africa or Central America. He even attempted to get support for his plan prior to writing the Emancipation Proclamation on the basis that whites and blacks could not live together peacefully. Stop and digest this information. Why am I telling you this? Remember the algorithm. If you don't crash the system, it reboots. And Abraham Lincoln showed us how the system works. Even one of the most influential individuals who played a major role in the abolition of slavery was racist. The system of white supremacy took a deep blow when slavery ended. Yet the system was immediately rebooting in the minds of those who helped deliver the blow.
Lincoln is a picture of many white northerners who believed slavery to be wrong, but also did not believe in true equality for blacks. How are we to view the individuals who gave with one hand and took with the other? Every time black people are freed from a system of oppression, a new one is created in an instance. You know, I didn't know that I was going to be sitting talk to a, talking to a bunch of illiterate people who don't know how to read, but... Uh, you're you know, literally 15. What do you know? Oh. You know how to read? Yes, I do know how to read. Name 10 books. Up now, face! You are ugly Mexican African fucking whores! How's it going? Huh? Did you find a place to park okay? <laughs> what? Then we'll shoot. 